All right, it's a pretty decent day here. Kind of windy, but we're gonna launch the jet ski. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this safety chain off that I have here. Before you get down by the launch there, you just wanna make sure everything's ready so you don't piss people off. So I got the safety chain off there. I'm gonna throw my life vest on. I'm gonna walk around back over here. And I already know that my drain plugs are in because I always put my drain plugs in before I leave the house. I'm going to go ahead and take take out my ratchet straps. One. And two. Alright. So, luckily at this launch here, they have floating docks right there. So, if I didn't have a floating dock, what I would do is I would take my rope out, put it around my steering wheel, and set it on my seat. When I back up and decide which side I'm going to go to, I'd grab my rope pull it towards the dock before I left the house I made sure everything was already inside of my ski I have my cooler I've already started up my ski up once at home but I'm gonna start it up again just to make sure that everything is still good all right the ski started up no problem so we're good to go throw my life vest on and I'm gonna put on my water shoes and we're gonna get ready to launch all right so I'm getting ready to launch my ski what I like to do when I launch my ski is I like to pull in to one of these lanes here and I want to try to get everything as straight as possible before I start reversing it just makes things much easier free tip when you reverse if you're an SUV or even a truck leave the rear open and you can see, you don't have to use your mirrors, it's not as hard. Even if you have a truck, you could just drop the door and uh, look over the top of your back seat. Makes it that much easier to reverse. Remember, when you move side to side, it's a very, very small little turn. You don't want to crank the wheel because you're going to end up throwing yourself off with jackknife in your trailer. Okay, so I got my ski in there. You see the wheel is almost covered in water. That might be a little deep, but I want to make sure I get it in there. I'm going to, I'm going to try from right there. I got out and checked. This is a new trailer, it's a little longer, so I gotta throw it in a little deeper. There, it looks about good right there. I can see the back floating. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo it, and I'm gonna put it right on one of these docks out here. All right, so we're gonna undo the winch here. Kinda hard to do with one hand. Undo the winch, unhook my ski. And like I said, we have the floating dock right there, so I'm gonna hop on and get it over there. All right, the ski's on the dock. I should have pulled it up a little closer, but I'm kind of in a rush, and I'll just probably pull it by hand a little closer. I'm gonna go park the car. All right, so the sun went behind the clouds, and it's pretty nasty out there. Uh, I have Juliet holding the ski for me with the rope because the dock wasn't available. Like I told you earlier, you know, the docks were available, so I was able to just put it on the dock and then hop on and take off. But now there is no dock, so I had to use a line. She's holding it for me, so we're gonna go ahead and load up the ski now. Same thing we did earlier. Don't have it as straight as before, but I straightened her out. We're gonna back it in. Juliet's back there holding the line for me. Leave the hatch open so I could see. There it is right there. Now I'm just gonna walk it in.
skis on the trailer. It's getting a little busy here because everyone wants to leave since it looks like it's about to rain. Make sure you got your winch strap attached to your ski because you don't want to pull out and the ski to come off. I'm going to get out of the way here, try to find a spot up there so I could tie down my ski with the uh, straps and the ratchet straps in the back and I'm going to pull my plugs so water can drain out on the way home. Alright, so I'm going to pull the drain plugs out now and I'm going to ratchet strap it down for the ride home. Get the plugs here, get some of that water out. Both plugs are out, go ahead and throw my strap on there. Tight. Then usually I will blow out the water by starting it up. I don't have two hands for that right now, so I'm gonna skip that part. Get my rope out of here, put it away. Take my speaker off, put that away. And then I'm gonna change out my riding shoes, hop in my car, take off, go home, give it a wash down and put it away. And then throw the uh, trickle charger on. All right, so I made it home. Of course the sun came back out. I'm gonna give this thing a wash. I always wash my jet ski after I ride. Wash the trailer as well. Um, as long as it's not raining, I wash it. I don't care how tired I am, I wash it. I'm gonna take the seat covers off. I leave the seat covers off while it's stored inside. I even grab like a towel and soak up any water sitting at the bottom in the engine bay. There'll be a little bit of water, not a whole lot. Um, then I will probably plug it into the uh, battery charger and then it'll just sit on a trickle charge until the next time. Let me get that started.